Welcome back to Andy Does Guitar. I am Andy and this is my Sterling Majesty, which is what this video is about. My wife got me this guitar for my birthday about eight months ago and I have been playing it quite a bit, not as much as I probably should, but every couple of days I'll pick it up and noodle around for half an hour. I've loved this guitar. Bless you. Hmm? Yes, good boy. I've loved everything about this guitar except for something that I noticed a few weeks ago. But right there, the finish has started to come off. So naturally, I wanted to know what's going on with this guitar. So if you try to call the Sterling by Music Man phone number, this is what you get. Thank you for calling Sterling by Music Man. You have reached us outside of our regular hours. Our operating hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Pacific time. Please press zero to leave us a message with the callback number and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. So you press zero, you leave a number. But if you call during business hours, they let you know that they're not accepting phone calls, they're only accepting emails due to a high volume, so whatever. So naturally, I decided to email them, and this is what my email said. I have an Ice Crimson Red Majesty that was purchased brand new in July, and it already has what appears to be a serious flaw in the finish. On the top horn, the matte finish is rubbing off at the slightest touch. It has gotten to a considerable size within just a few days. Is there anything I can do about this? Below is a picture of the issue. I have also linked a video I made explaining the issue further. Please let me know what is going on. I have owned dozens of guitars and have never had an issue with any of them like this before. And I sent a picture. So just to explain what's going on here, even if I just take my fingernail, I can scrape off that finish very easily. It just scrapes off. It's like wax paper. The thing about this guitar is I love this guitar. It plays amazing. It feels amazing. It sounds amazing. I don't want to get rid of this guitar. In fact, I don't even want to send it back to Sterling to get it fixed. I just want an explanation as to what is going on. Like that's where I'm that's where I'm at at this issue when I email Sterling. I just want to know why this is going on. Is it a factory defect? Is it something that I did? Because from my perspective, it just started rubbing off. Sterling by Music Man. Hi there. Thank you for contacting our Sterling by Music Man customer service team. We received your email and will respond as soon as we can. Our office hours are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific time. Thank you for your patience and we'll be in touch soon. Sterling by Music Man team. All right. And then they respond with, Hello, Andrew. Thank you for reaching out. In order to better assist you, please provide the following information. And they have a list of all the things that I need to do. And immediately, dude, you don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to go anywhere. Immediately, I know that they think I am contacting them about this warranty, which I'm honestly not. I just want an explanation as to what is going on. But I humor them and send all of the information. And then four days later, here's an updated pic. You can see from the previous picture how much more of the finish has chipped away from playing in just under a week. Also, and then I give the serial number. Wasn't sure if you needed the serial number. Figured they probably did. Hi there, thank you for contacting our Sterling by Music Man customer service team. We've received your email and will respond as soon as we can. Our office hours are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific time. Thanks for your patience and we'll be in touch soon. Two days later. Is there any update on my inquiry? It's been a week since I first submitted. I'm anxious for the response. Thanks. This whole time, the blemish on the guitar is getting bigger and I don't know if this is something that I did. I don't know if this is a factory defect. A lot of people on Reddit told me that it's a factory defect, but like I told them, I've had dozens of guitars, many of them with a matte finish and this has never happened to me before. And then finally, a week later, hello Andrew. Thank you for following up. Unfortunately, finish wear over time is not covered by the Sterling by Music Man one year limited warranty. For more information, please visit Sterling by Music Man, yada, 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 yada. And that is that. That's their response. It took them a week to tell me your guitar is not covered under warranty, even though I never said anything about a warranty. I just want an explanation as to why the guitar I spent, my wife spent damn near a thousand dollars on, brand new, has the finish scraping off it, off of it in less than a year. I mean, tell me if I'm overreacting, but I understand that. However, I wouldn't call this issue finish wear over time. This didn't happen over time. It happened instantly. As mentioned in my previous email, the guitar was purchased brand new eight months ago. This defect in the finish seemingly ha appeared overnight. 
Within a few days, it was the size of the nickel, and as you can see from my previous email, one week later, it tripled in size. Now it is about the size of a dollar bill. And this is from just playing it maybe 30 to 60 minutes a day just from rubbing on my shirt. I would hardly think that, that is considered finish wear over time. This is a defect in the finish. And if this is what Sterling by Music Man considers finish wear over time, is it typical for Sterling by Music Man finishes to flake off at the slightest touch? I would like to know because it may influence my future purchases. I look forward to your response. Thank you. All right, I get a little spicy on that one, but you can understand my frustration. I just want to know why or what. I'm not looking for a handout. I'm not looking for a free guitar. Like I said, I love this guitar. I will never get rid of this guitar. It has, it's not just an amazing guitar, but it has extreme sentimental value to me because my wife bought it for me for my birthday. I just want some, I just wanted some sort of explanation by Sterling, and... Hi there! Thanks for contacting our Sterling by Music Man customer service team. I was expecting them to take another week or two weeks to respond to me, but they actually got back to me later in the day. Hello, Andrew. Finish wear over time was based on the instrument being purchased eight months ago. Not on the blemish only recently appearing and expanding. I apologize if there was any confusion based on this statement. Unfortunately, the finish is still not covered under our warranty. For your reference, I have attached the exact wording of our one-year limited warranty below. And then this is my favorite part. They copy and pasted the limited warranty that they have on their website in the email and then they bold, italicize, and underline defects in the finish to let me know explicitly that this is not covered under their warranty. Wow. Again, am I overreacting to just want an explanation as to why the thousand dollar guitar that my wife purchased brand new has its finish flaking off like wax paper? Well. This is my response, Sterling by Music Man. If you are going to basically tell me to pound sand and tell me that your defect in your finish is not covered under your warranty, I'm just going to take your finish off and I'm going to show you how easily I can take it off by scraping it off with a pick. And before anybody out there watching, just it's not that big of a deal. Like I said, I'm never getting rid of this guitar. I love this guitar. I could care less about retaining its value or the aesthetics of it, as long as it plays and sounds good and was still bought as a birthday present by my wife. I could care less what this guitar looks like. It has sentimental value to me and that's all I really care about. So I am just making a statement to show how easily I can take their defective finish off with a pick. Before everybody's out there, it's like, oh, he's ruining a majesty, he's ruining a majesty. I mean, it's my majesty, I could care less what it looks like, I just want to make a point because I'm honestly pretty pissed off that Sterling would say we're not responsible for our own defects. And then they highlight, italicize, and underline that statement in their warranty when I never mentioned anything about a warranty. Like I said, I don't want to get rid of this guitar. I don't want to replace it. There's nothing that needs to be fixed about how it plays. It's just the finish, and all I wanted was an explanation from Sterling by Music Man as to why this could have happened. And instead of telling me Instead of, even if they would have given me some BS explanation, it's like, oh, sometimes this happens or whatever, like, I would have been fine by that. I just wanted some response that wasn't go F yourself. So, I am going to take this finish off for them. So, this is before, and I'm going to take the finish off now. Now, this is definitely going to void the warranty. <laughs> I really don't mean to be a Karen about it. It's just I really wish that they would have responded like not total douchebags. Let's watch me void this warranty for good. I right, look at that. It's like easier. It's easier to rub that off than a scratch off. There's. I right, look at that. I can make a better matte finish than this using a couple cans of Krylon. For crying out loud. Look at that. This is unbelievable. Wow. 
what? Look at this. It's just... I mean, I know on a guitar finish, the finish is going to be thinner on curved edges, but that's ridiculous. Several days later. Before and after. And yes, I do realize that this does not have any sort of longevity because anything outside of this is just bare paint now. But I do plan on getting it professionally painted pretty soon anyway. And again, don't be an idiot like me and do this to your guitar like I did, especially in Majesty. I only did this out of spite. I really don't mean to come off as a complaining Karen, but I really felt like there wasn't much else I could do to make my point. And yeah, it's petty and pretty reckless, but I still stand by what I did because to me it is absolutely ridiculous to have a product that is a thousand dollars, have a glaring issue with it, and then just completely dismiss it. This is really gonna make me sound like a Karen, but after this whole debacle, it's... I'm probably not gonna get another Music Man ever. It's going to take a lot for me to get a Music Man. Because for the price that some of these guitars are and the competition that they have out there, I could easily just get a PRS and be completely happy with it as much as I would. Does PRS make 7 string? Something I gotta look up. Anyway, that is the end of my rant. I am extremely disappointed with Sterling. I have heard that people have had nothing but great experiences from their customer service. I was not one of them. Yeah. I don't really know how to end this one, so I'll see you next time.